Hey, it's Patrick. Today, I'm going to go over a couple of quick tips that I use in Rough Animator on today's episode of the Expat Animator. So I'm just opening up a bouncing ball animation file that I've got, and you can see the ball just goes up and down in 16 frames. So sometimes uh, when working with, within Rough Animator, you'll notice that you want to use the Edit Multiple tool, and when you click it, you get this dotted box, and you need to grab that box and drag it. And you see what happened here is sometimes it'll actually expand the frame count of that box, of that first drawing. And I don't want that, so I'm going to undo that. So here's a trick that I found. Let's go ahead and go to the end of what I want to select, and then I hit Edit Multiple, and then when I click and grab, it's always a lot easier to grab. And now this doesn't happen all the time, but now you can see I've got all of my drawings selected. And now I can go ahead and use the select tool and let's say I want to move them to this side of the page. Now when I'm done, I need to click off and then they see that they're still selected up here. So there's one more click that I have to do and I can't just click here. I have to click on one of the layers and it doesn't matter which one. And when I click that, it applies the changes. And now you can see that the ball has moved to the right side of the page. Now, if I try this again, edit multiple, you can see I have trouble usually with the stylus, but if I try it with the mouse, I get a better chance that I'm going to actually grab what I want. So it does work from the right, or from the left side, but if you don't have your mouse handy and you're just using your stylus, you want to grab the frame furthest to the right and then hit edit multiple and then grab and that'll make it so that it makes it easy to grab all the frames that you want. Another quick tip that I like to use is if I want to just draw something on every single one of these frames all at the same time, there's a couple ways you could do that. The first is you might want to just add an empty layer and make like make your drawing. Let me just grab black here. And let's just say I want to make a line here for the ground. And then I can just extend that out for the full 16 frames, and I can move that to the bottom. And that would work. Now, another way you could do that is I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer. I could edit multiple, grab all of the drawings, and now that I've got them all selected, I could do that same drawing or make that same line. And you'll notice, I'm going to try and get it right underneath there. Okay. Now, when I go ahead up here and select on to my layer to apply the changes, you'll see that that drawing has now been applied to every single one of those frames. So it's just a different way of doing it. But if you can think of a way, a reason that you would want to draw on multiple frames at the same time without having to add a new layer, that's a quick way to do it using the edit multiple button. And a third little trick here is just using that same edit multiple. We'll grab all the frames that we want. And in my tool options, if I change draws in front to draws behind, then when I go to draw that line, I can draw it basically on top of that first drawing and it'll just draw it behind it. So that way I don't have to try and draw it, you know, perfectly right at the base. I can draw right over the line like that. And then again, we want to click on our layers to apply the changes and you'll see that that line is now on the same frame as every single one of these drawings. So hopefully those tips will help your rough animator workflow. My name is Ben Patrick Davidson, the expat animator. See you next time.